Hello, welcome to another episode of I Hate Cardboard Boxes. <laughs> These guys have literally been my best friends. We stand lows. Um, yeah, my dad picked up some more boxes for me today, so I'm gonna get packing. So that is pretty much it. So today, the driver of the moving company who's coming to move my stuff gave me a call and I like lost all of my contacts. But even if I didn't, like, whatever. Also, when I was trying to find a way to move and like looking at different quotes for moving companies, I mistakenly put my contact information in like a spam tinder like moving company function that essentially like matches you to moving companies that like would take the job so like random people were calling me and that was very annoying because they'd be like oh this is so and so moving company and i'm like i literally never heard of that and i do not know who you are so i booked a moving company and they the driver called me today he's like hello i'm like hello <laughs> like is this allison i'm like yeah who is this he's like oh i'm the blah 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 with this moving company so i'm like okay and they're like oh yeah i'm like the driver for your move i'm like okay i'm like you should have lied with that i'm like i don't know who you are but basically he like called me and said that he's gonna be here on monday morning at 8 a.m currently it's thursday night i clearly have a lot of packing i have to do so i'm gonna do that now <gasps> it's noodle You look incredible. Come here. Good girl. Come here. Look who it is. Come here. Hello, beautiful. You look so good. She got groomed today. She looks like, you look so good. You smell like vanilla. Yeah, you smell so good. Okay, Noodle, I'll walk you in a minute. Anyway, so essentially after I walk Noodle, I'm just gonna be packing up my room some mo- <gasps> What was that, Noodle? I'll be right there. Okay, I'm just gonna let my dog out and then I'm gonna pack up my room. Okay, patience is a virtue. <laughs> talking and singing i i don't know why but i feel like whenever i go through a really strong i want to say process of emotions my first inclination is always 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 to whip out the camera and i don't know if that's from my main character complex but that is the kind of youtuber i am so anytime i have something on my mind i just like to talk it out to myself i don't know if i'll edit this in or out like specific parts of this because it's like so stupid but it's also of reality and i'm like getting emotional about it which is like so irritating and i wish that i could turn that off but i just feel like it's important to talk about things like this because it's like I know that other people go through these problems and struggles and it's like so frustrating and like it's not you you know what i mean like you could have a million followers on instagram you could be the prettiest person in the world but like these types of problems will still seep into your life like no matter what like it's just life and almost like a rite of passage and everyone has to experience something like this for 
um, developmental growth. But I remember the last time I was sitting on the bathroom floor, I was talking about thinking about the possibility of moving. I was still really up in there and I was still really, really unsure. And I was kind of talking about like reasons for moving and like expectations and things that I was excited about and looking forward to. Yeah, one of the reasons that I listed was just like, and not to say that this is the reason that I was moving or anything, but I guess just like something I was looking forward to was just like finally being able to see out a connection that I felt like was strong and kind of never had a chance to be explored and that was something that i was like honestly looking forward to just because we've had proximity issues and just like other life issues that we like never had the chance to look into that further and i like ever since the idea popped into my mind i always wanted to but this is the only time in my life that i've ever had to like work on myself and give myself love like the love that i so openly and like obviously too much pour into other people but it's been very productive but like as that was happening i feel like as a karmic cycle and as a last test before i pick myself up and move i kind of like ran into the same um pattern i guess with this one guy and it's just so frustrating because it's like when it's a friend it's just so different because it's like you when it doesn't work out, you lose a friend too. Versus like if you meet someone on Tinder randomly and it's like they had no ties to your life, like it almost hurts less because it's like, they're not ingrained in like who you are and your soul. Like it's just so difficult to let go of like a friend that you love because it's like, not only are you losing a potential partner and someone that you have like deep rooted romantic feelings for, but you're also losing your friend <laughs> and that sucks. And we kind of rekindled, I just like literally was just coming from a place of like, I don't care what capacity you're in my life, like I just want you to be in it. And like, I'm not gonna place blame on anyone because it's so easy to fall back into old patterns, but like flirtation just like started to pop up again and like the same conversations that we were having, or honestly not having because I do all the talking in this relationship just kind of popped back out again. I like knew the way that it was gonna go down. You know what I mean? Like I knew that it was never gonna come to fruition. It was never gonna be a thing, but I just like thought that we would have a little bit more time to figure that out. The fact of the matter is that like, I am very pushy and I am very like wordy. Like I will send you paragraphs. Like I'm the type of person who will literally send you paragraphs and like be like, what did you mean by this? And talk through literally everything. And not to say just to do that over the phone, like I would do that if we were in person or if he was the type of person to talk it over the phone, but he's not. I just like like answers where I could get them and I like to talk about things and he is so not like that. So I just kind of like openly express myself and I finally got a resolution, which obviously is not the one that I wanted, but it doesn't matter. Like it's not about what you want in life. It's like about what you need and I needed the truth and I got it. And his whole thing was, we can still be friends but my whole thing is like if you're genuinely my friend especially a whole after a whole year apart for being in the same exact situation like you want to put me in this situation again especially when i like told you i am fine just being friends like we do not need to flirt we do not need to like act any type of way but i think this just kind of like comes down to the fact to like if they want to they will and I know that people combat that sometimes because they're like, there's so many things I want to do, but I don't. But like, when it comes to something like this, like I feel like people are not as stupid as like they pretend to be or try to play off that they are. And they kind of like do know what they're doing. It's just like a matter of how much you'll accept or let them do. Like, it's just so weird. It's like, why do you do that? Like if we're really just friends, because people that I really am just friends with, like I don't, do that too so it's just like so bizarre anyway like i was trying to say it's not my place to understand it's just my place to accept and i don't need to overanalyze um this person's actions or whatever else i'm just like realizing i need to like literally stop trying to find like a, rom a romantic connection as i like sit down and start to pack up my room again and like move and also like don't want to dive too deep into this because it is like deeply personal but like my mom just like just got out of the hospital she was like in the hospital for literally like two weeks 
And I'm like, I'm not going to say that my problems are bigger than everyone else's, but like, I have problems. You know what I mean? Like, everyone has problems, but I'm like, my problems are not which Instagram picture do I post today. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like sometimes people just like act like that's all I am and like that's just not true. Like, I have legitimate problems. And as I was like sitting down and thinking about the termination of this friendship, relationship, whatever you want to call it. So I just like, kind of think about the fact that like I'm so lucky and privileged to have parents who support me in the way that they do. I'm literally in the master bedroom right now so I could make my content, so I could work in peace, so I could have space and be comfortable. Like, do you know how crazy that is that I'm literally in my parents' house, I don't pay them rent, and I have the biggest and nicest bedroom? What? So the amount of love and like support that I have is so strong and it just like makes me want to be better. Like I cannot let these people who have basically sacrificed their whole entire life to make mine better down. I owe them and like the generations before me to like give myself the best chance at success and like I'm not going to have that if I'm like wrapping my head around nonsense. I don't know. I just feel like this is really my big girl moment, my <laughs> time to shine moment. Um, put your big girl panties on and like kill it moment. And I need to not mess it up and I need to find success, whatever that means to me. And I need to do it on my own. And I said this to my ex before we moved in together. And I think it really rubbed him the wrong way. <laughs> but I said I was like my first living experience like I've never envisioned it being with a partner like I always kind of wanted to do that on my own and like I did and I do and I need to like I need to live on my own um and kind of figure life out on my own like I'm only 23 and like while I love a romantic partner and know I'll have one eventually like I am so young but I also um at the same time I'm on the fence because I'm like, tomorrow was not promised sort of a thing. And it's like, you should really go after the things that you want. And I really do want a romantic love, but unfortunately you can't whip that out of thin air and you can't force people to love you or care about you the way that you do them. So it's like, I need to fulfill myself to the best of my ability independently. And like, I want to be okay enough where it's like, if I never found that, like, I'd be all right. Yeah, just a lot to think about. And it's like spooky because I like am still checking my phone like, oh, is he gonna text me like a legit loser? Even though like kind of came to the conclusion like nothing is gonna come of that literally ever. I think I need to stop that. And it's so sad. And it kind of reminds me of this song where it's like the old Taylor can't come to the phone right now. Why? Because she's dead. And I feel like I have to kill the romantic version of my like young self in order to succeed like not to become a cynic or not to become someone who like doesn't have an open heart but i feel like i need to let that piece of me die in order to be successful because it's like my weakness it's like my greatest fatal flaw like it always gets in my way just like trying to love people and trying so hard to be in a relationship like gets in the way of my own self-development and growth and it sucks because I like love being in a relationship but I just like also know that I just have so much more potential and so much more to offer the world than what I currently am and it's just like I kind of need to hold myself accountable and do a little bit better although it's emotionally painful like it is not the most emotionally painful thing I've ever been through in my life or the most emotionally painful thing that I will experience in my life and I think in the beginning of this process I really was not ready to move but it's like as the days go on I am <laughs> so and again this is just like a bump in the road and it's like so stupid because I don't want to give it life but like at the same time it like has affected my like mental being and like has kept me up at night and it's something that I think about and I'm sure that it's like something other people could relate to as well karmic cycle before i like really step into my power so i don't know if you guys believe in any of that or not but i think i've like finally learned my lesson that unfortunately i need to be by myself in order to succeed and the rest will come later the younger version of myself would like never envision me moving a thousand first of all like if you watch my other videos like you would know that i never envisioned myself moving to florida because i knew it would be harder to move back to new jersey 
and I never want to put myself in that position, but it's like I'm doing it. And I never envisioned myself moving out, like not with a boyfriend, but like I'm doing it <laughs> and I'm okay. But I, again, can only speak from my perspective and can only share the lessons that I've learned personally. And this is just something that I'm experiencing. So it's sad and it's frustrating to let relationships go, especially ones that you wanted to develop, not burst into flames. I know I'll be all right. And it's just so spooky because I know he's gonna watch this because that's the type of shit that he does. <laughs> I'll sit here and watch an hour-long YouTube video about my life, but like doesn't care enough to actually be involved in a productive way. Yeah, I'm just excited to see like What this year brings and like I don't want to cut myself off from dating or like cut myself off from the chance to find love like my heart is open but I at the same time like almost want to initiate a pact of no dating for a year and I don't think you could put a timestamp on growth and I don't think that you could put yourself in a box because healing isn't linear. So that's why I haven't done that and that's why I um, opted for the New Year's resolution of no dating apps because I didn't feel like that was productive for me. So I'm not saying no, I'm not opposed. I'm not going to be like, no, I have to focus on myself. I'm not dating you. But I think like the right person for me isn't going to be someone who lives around free my mind, who keeps me up, on, up all night, like wondering if they feel the same, who leads me to the bathroom fo floor feeling stressed out and anxious about like the status of our relationship and where it's going. Like I think the right person for me is just going to be so incredibly reassuring and supportive that like I will never find myself in those situations and I can just continue to be my best self and create my best content and continue to level up. I never know how I'm going to splice these videos up because there's like videos of me folding my jackets and then there's like videos of me on the floor for hours but that is the reality of moving at least for me it's very emotional. I don't know if it's just because of my cancer or what the heck my problem is, but moving for me all three times these the past six months has just been incredibly eye-opening, incredibly insightful, and incredibly emotional. So I love sharing that all with you. I'm going to wrap up this video because my one friend is texting me back about this situation and I want to respond to her. And I want to take a shower and I want to do something productive. Like I want to read my book or like do some self-care because I deserve it quite frankly. That's it. I'll get back to you in the next update. I'm going to be staying at my grandma's house for a minute because after the moving company picks up my stuff, I'm not going to have a bed or anything here. So yeah, next time I speak to you, I'll probably be packing up my whole entire room. And then I'll probably be at my grandma's for a minute and then I'll be back in New Jersey. I'll talk to you guys later. Hello everybody. I am um, currently cleaning up the last of my room. It is the day before the moving company comes to pick up my stuff. And to say that I could have done a little bit of a better job getting this place um, ready would be an understatement. I probably should have packed a little bit more yesterday, but it was just absolutely beautiful out. And I just had to take advantage of the weather and take pictures. Um, especially because it will probably be my last time doing that since I'm here. I will be staying with my grandma until I kind of get the call that the moving company is going to um, be 48 hours out to New Jersey so I could fly there. Oh my god, I have to sneeze, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I am sweating, like, ugh, it's so hot in here. I literally almost can't wait to freeze because I can't. Well, let me blast the AC because I'm sweating. Hold on. It is like the middle of the day. I woke up at 8 a.m. but didn't leave my bed till like 10-ish. Do you guys ever have those days? And now it's like 1 o'clock. So, <laughs> I'm basically just gonna be tearing through my room, putting everything in a box. And you guys are gonna watch the montage of that. That's pretty much it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you could probably guess what song I'm gonna blast in my eardrums right now. Forever by the Veronica's. Oh my god, my AirPod just fell on the ground. One second. Forever by the Veronica's. Blast it. Also, really quickly. <laughs> Noodle the Schnoodle. Oh my god, you can't even see her. Noodle the Schnoodle <laughs> loves the sunlight. Noodle the Schnoodle. How cute are you? Oh my god, look at his face. Who could believe it?
but yeah my room is just literally so messy like there's just so many so many so many things most of these drawers are empty thankfully and i have my suitcase going all these drawers are empty which is good news and then i kind of just got to clean out like the remainder of my closet but the big thing i would say honestly is just like all my makeup and like products because it's like i don't want to put that in a box um because I, it's just gonna be on a truck and it's just gonna get like hot and gross and i just also don't trust that it's not gonna spill so it kind of sucks because it's like i either need to throw it out or put it in my um suitcase that i'm taking with me on the plane so yeah i don't know i'm just a little concerned about that because i um actually was like a big girl and invested in a lot of nice expensive skincare and stuff and like i really don't want to throw that out and i also don't know that i have enough room in my suitcase to take like everything so that kind of sucks but we're gonna figure it out and that's it mess is being polite but this is the result of just moving stress and also like eating horribly for a week but basically this is my last night in florida my last night as a floridian and i'm about to leave my grandma's house and go to my parents house i was staying with my grandma because my stuff got picked up from my parents house and i didn't have any furniture or anything like that and um I obviously work from home so like working during the week that wasn't really ideal because I like need a desk and stuff so my grandma has an office that I was using and I just stayed here just because it was easier but because it's my last night and I'm only working half a day tomorrow I figure I'll just work at the kitchen table for um the four hours that I'm working tomorrow so no big deal but yeah I just wanted to spend my last night like at my parents house before I move out officially. So my flight's tomorrow. I'm a little bit nervous because I have a connecting flight and the weather in New Jersey is not good and it's also supposed to rain here. So I'm like praying to the Lord that I do not have any delays or anything because my last flight is supposed to land in New Jersey super, super late and I'm gonna have to Uber to my apartment and luckily my roommate's gonna let me in because obviously the leasing office is not gonna be open that late. But yeah i just pray that like there's no setbacks or anything like that with um the potential snow and potential rain 
I obviously couldn't account for that when I was planning this out, so kind of unfortunate that that's taking place, but what can you do? But yeah, I'm like very ready to leave. I love my grandmother, like do not get me wrong, but she has lived on her own for so long that like I don't think she knows how to coexist with other people anymore. And also she like, I don't know, like it's just not the same as being at your own house or being at your parents' house. Like I need to eat a certain way or this happens and I just like cannot. So I'm so happy to like be trotting off on my own so I could get my skincare out of a box and eat healthier again like I am never gonna lie and be like I am the epitome of health like no like I snack a lot and pretty badly but I also like my meals like my meals are pretty healthy but I do snack a lot during the day but like I cannot eat garbage or like literally this will happen so Oh my god. And my skincare routine is somewhere in a box in America. Like, I really just... I really just said goodbye and, like, threw it in a box. I, like, have way too many products. Like, I kept some things in my suitcase, but, like, just too many things to, like, keep in a suitcase. And I really just put it all in a box and prayed that it doesn't explode somewhere in America. So, hopefully my skincare routine is not broken, spilling in a box somewhere in a moving truck. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Like, I'm excited to go, but I'm also, like, it's just so bittersweet, like, moving out. But I'm also, like, especially being at my grandma's, I've been <laughs> being driven nuts for the past week. Like, that just sounds so mean, but, like, I just really have to be honest always. So, I love her, but I've been being, like, I've been, blah, blah, you know what I mean? So, I just am so ready to, like get out and like spread my wings and my roommate has been at the apartment and she is like more settled in so she's like super nice she's, like you could use my shower and everything like when you get here because I obviously need to buy that like little curtain and like all that stuff and I've been like trying to order things like today so things will get there this week as I like land and everything but yeah that's pretty much it just wanted to do a little check-in because I did not vlog at all this week because I have just really not been in the mood like I have pretty much just been working and like eating bread and garbage and breaking out and being sleep deprived so that's pretty much it but yeah I have my little overnight bag and <laughs> Emily my stuffed animal my amigo always comes everywhere with me so yeah it's my last night as a as a uh I don't know Floridian as someone who lives with their parents and I'm excited to embark on this journey. I like do not think it's gonna be like rainbows and butterflies, but I also think it's going to continue the theme that has been this year in the past few months of just self growth, self exploration. And I'm just like really looking forward to that. And I know that during a pandemic, like not being near your family or like people that you're extremely close with is probably gonna be a little bit difficult, but I just have so much faith that I'm going to be able to strengthen the friendships of the people who do live in that area and also make new friends like I am really just looking forward to this opportunity and I really feel like I'm about to tap into my power and just like go off with my content like I'm just excited so yeah and I've just also been like doing a really good job at work which is like so good like I just feel so good about that so I just like want to keep doing that because I love my job so I'm so so excited um to be moving up in the world and like proving to the people that I work with that I am worthy of moving up in the world so yeah I'm just excited so yeah a lot of cool things on the horizon I hope I could see my sister soon she's in Connecticut I would love to like reconnect with her if we could do it in a safe manner but definitely miss my little chica and yeah that's pretty much it I like gotta go because I'm like sitting in my grandma's like driveway and knowing her she's probably like what are you doing okay I'll talk to you probably tomorrow bye